Hey guys, and welcome back to Toy Commander. When we last left off, we were making our way through the garage and tool room. Um, I had to cut the video short last time because uh, time constraints. So this might be a little bit of a shorter video because uh, we're just going to finish this room and then we're going to go into the next one. Now, uh, okay, this these next two missions aren't actually that challenging, apart from this guy. This guy, Buggy Wug, as it says here, is actually a bit of a goy. Uh, he can be quite tricky depending on how the game goes, but I'm pretty sure we can prevail. Anyway, so next up, Vertigo. Uh, Vertigo. How many scientists does it take to screw in a light bulb? I don't know, but I'm trying to find out. Buggy Wug's accomplices are holding three scientists prisoner in a tall fortress. Bring them back to the hangar, and remember, you'll need to get a spin to the top. Okay. Cryptic. Right, let's go. Yeah, this one is a bit of an interesting one. Um, fairly straightforward, and I don't know why the sound is not coming from my headset. It's coming from my PC speakers. Yeah, so we've got kind of a bit of a trek here. First thing we're going to want to do is take the plane out. Now, the plane is bloody slow, but eh, it doesn't matter too much. Let's try and grab some ammo. Notice we don't get much ammo at all here. Uh, we're getting, like, a couple of missiles at best per pickup. That's kind of shitty, but, you know, it is what it is. There is a power-up somewhere. There it is that we don't really need, but we'll grab it just because. I mean, when you're only getting such a pathetic amount of missiles, everyone counts, right? So, what have we got going on up here? We've got some bombers, really don't need to worry about them. But we do kind of want to thin the herd if we can. Now there's a dude somewhere down here that we really need to take out. It's kind of hiding. One missile. Oh, nice. He dropped. He actually dropped missiles, which is a pretty big win, actually. He dropped ten. Dude. Right, I think we're kind of laughing now. We've got 18, like, level 2 missiles. That's pretty bloody good, to be honest with you. Okay. Want to get rid of that, because that is going to be a pretty nasty obstacle. That's not too bad, but... We want to try and save any damage where we can. And I think that's pretty much everyone we need to take out. Cool. Need to go a little bit quicker because time is of the essence here. It's not too bad. But you don't want to squander what time you do have. Right, okay. Uh, I guess we could get this guy into position. So let's get this guy in the loading ramp. Now, notice there was an enemy soldier there. We kind of have to take him out, otherwise he's going to be problematic. Now, we get our tank, which has one single solitary round. <laughs> but all that's really useful is activating this bridge here. The sky lift. Excellent. And I need to turn my headset down because I am literally getting uh, deafened. But that's okay. All right, let's go. Yeah, bombers really aren't going to do much to us here at all. Now we just have to snake our little way up here. And check out how good these textures are for the Dreamcast. Bearing in mind that this was pre-PlayStation 2 stuff that we're talking about here. It's pretty incredible just how detailed these were. Oh yeah, shit. Remember the spin to win? Remember what I didn't do? I didn't spin to win, guys. We've got to shoot this drill here, which activates a little spin. Can't believe I didn't do that. Man, I feel stupid. That's okay. Ooh, and we nearly got KO'd by the bombers. Remember when I said the bombers don't matter? Yep, almost got taken out by them. That's fine. Can't believe I didn't do the spin to win. Dude, what a moron. And there we go. <laughs> I think we were pretty close to the limit there. I'll be kind of amazed. Oh no, okay, we still were 10, like, a good solid 10 seconds ahead. 
Um, oof, that was that was rough, actually. Okay, so now we have Louis the Lemur. Uh, look where Louis has perched. Somebody stole your helicopter, so good luck getting it. Ha ha ha. Retrieve the helicopter from the hangar. After that, getting rid of the lemur will be a piece of cake. Yeah, this one is uh, another one where we have to use soldiers to do the lion's share of the mission. Uh, it's not too bad. There's some tricks that we can employ. So let's go. Now, unfortunately, we only have these five men that we see here. So first things first, we want to drop this guy off here. Because we want those so gun turrets to focus on that soldier so they don't waste these guys. And then we can use these guys to finish those guys off and destroy the uh, bridge there. Or the gate, I should say. Right, everyone back on board. Not bad, man. Not bad. Now, we've got a rather precarious bridge to get up here. Now, this is fraught with quite a bit of danger. But, you know, oh god, not good. We kind of want that tank to get away from us because... We don't have the firepower to crack that tank, to be honest. And it's just going to knock us around, to be honest. Well, kind of shit out of luck. We really need to wait for it to drive off. Don't really want to waste any soldiers here if we don't have to. And my god, guys, that was about as jank as it possibly could have been. Oh, that was rough. Right, just got this missile turret to get past. And again, we don't want to take it out. Because it's going to do too much damage to us. Alright, so we're through. We're through. Our trials and tribulations are almost over. <laughs> Not quite. Alright, let's drop these dudes off. Kill him. Kill him. Good work, man. Good work. Right, let's grab the fuel. Now, we're going to have to go up against another tank here. Oh, he dropped an armor repair. Guys, he, do you have any comprehension of how lucky that was? <laughs> um, spoiler, pretty fucking lucky. Okay, so we've got a tank which we could potentially push back. But because we've got the armor repair, we might actually get away. Yeah, we're not worrying about it, to be honest. Alright, let's take that guy out. We just got unbelievably lucky there, to be honest. Now, this is our end goal. We're in the hangar. There we go. And we got a boost, which didn't really do us many favours, if I'm being honest. Alright, cool. Now, we just need to go take out the lemur. Um, when I was testing this, we actually got a weapon power up. Which was very bloody useful, let me tell you. Because at the moment, we don't really have anything that we can use to take the lemur out. Apart from machine guns. Which, to be honest, I think that's what we're going to be stuck with. So, let's wail on this guy. And we're getting kind of our asses handed to us. Which is suboptimal, to be honest. Right, that's better. That's better. Chain gun should be enough. That's all right. We can just sit behind him like this. That'll work, donkey. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. <sighs> Stressful. <laughs> but we did it. Stressful. But enjoyable. Okay. Not bad. Don't mess with me. My turbo might overheat. And you don't want to go there. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, we're on to Buggy Wug. Uh, yeah, this guy. This guy kind of sucks. Because he has, at least to start with, quite an overwhelming advantage on us. I'm coming to teach you a lesson in manners. And you believe me, you'll never forget it. Yeah, well, this might take a few takes. He's very tough. But... That's okay. We've got a couple of winning strategies. Now, you can see we only start off with 10 missiles. That's bad. But, we've got some mines. 
Maybe we can use the mines to weaken him. Yeah, kind of. So, we've got to hit his little antenna there. Which is incredibly difficult to do with the mines. Uh, you can do it. I have done it, I think. Um, there is a repair in that bucket there. And there are some bombs here. Bombs are kind of useless, to be honest, on this guy. I mean, in a pinch, if you have no choice, you can use them. But, yeah, it's it's not great. Uh, there is some fuel in here. Don't know if the fuel respawns, so we're not going to be grabbing it. Uh, what we have now, the weapons we have now, we're going to have to do for a while. So, this uh, power glider thing that we have ain't great. But there is a uh, cannon power up down here, which is rather nice because we may have to lean on this a little bit later. So anyway, what we can do, we can get a little bit of distance between us by going down this uh, little hole here. This hole will give us a teleport because at the moment he's chasing us like so. All right. Let's get rid of that antenna. Now, now we've blown his antenna. You can see he kind of drives around like crazy. He's <laughs> His uh, controls have gone haywire, if you will. Also, these missiles up here take a incredible amount of time to respawn, sadly. Now, I can't remember if there's like any other upgrades or anything like that around. Now, we need to hit his grill. And we also need to hit his wheels but you can see he's very unpredictable and we are taking an absolute beating here so let's go grab our repair hopefully those missiles have come back and we're also nearly bingo fuel so we might want to go grab that with any luck those missiles have come back come on they're still not back I'm wondering if they only respawn when you run out of ammo. Not sure. Okay. Let's grab that. Now, his weapons get nastier as we go on. So the fact that we get this upgraded cannon is a bit of a godsend. Let's wait for him to spin the other direction. Now he has this rocket launcher. This rocket launcher is his, probably his most dangerous weapon that he has to use against us. As you can see, the sheer amount of damage it does to us is pretty frightening. So now he's just got his two guns left. Kind of like a battleship. And they are rather nasty. But if we destroy one of those guns, then that leaves like 180 degrees where he can't hit us, which is really nice. This is probably his worst form, so to speak. Just because of the amount of damage that he does do to us. But we did him. Oh my god. <laughs> that that was as close as it gets, guys. Uh, I I was <laughs> I was not convinced that he was gonna go down that easy. I thought this was gonna be a, at least at least a couple of takes. But hey, uh not gonna argue, to be honest. I'll take it. I'll take the win. Okay, not bad. Buggy Wuggy demolished. It's impossible. He had a real grudge against you, and now he's on your side. Tell me I'm dreaming. You're not dreaming, my dude. Don't worry. You'll be licking my boots pretty soon as well. So, uh, I'm going to leave it here, because when we come back... Oh, I guess we could do the helicopter hoo-ha, I guess. Because, you know, 14-minute video. That's a bit weak source, isn't it? Um, I haven't practiced these, so it's going to be interesting. You should be used to races by now. Let's see what you're worth at the controls of a helicopter. One, two, or three. You know the drill. All right. Helicopter, eh? Interesting. I'd rather race a helicopter than a plane. I know that much. So I haven't actually practiced these, so let's give it a go. But being in a helicopter, you know... How hard could it be? I do remember these levels. Obviously. They're all burnt into my, my brain. Uh, see, we got that helicopter 
in front of us, the Hind G. He's uh, he's getting a bit of a wiggle on. He's a quick boy. That's okay. Oh God. Bit more maneuverable than me, are you? I'm gonna say we could try and take him out. Not very sporting though, is it? Not really. Oh, wow. Never thought I'd be drifting a helicopter around, but here we are. Whatever works at the end of the day. Oh, God. Okay, that'll work. Wasn't exactly uh, elegant, but, you know, hey, it works. And that's all that matters. Oh, God. i lose a little bit of time there, but it should be fine try and grab that boost yep <laughs> the boost actually did oh my god have we just fucked it up because i used the boost i'm pretty sure we have we've literally just thrown the race because of the boost oh, and i'm stuck <laughs> that's what happens kids that's what happens that's what it does strike teach us don't take chances okay let's try that again with a little bit less failure this time. If that's even something that's possible. Uh, you know, most of these races come down to the fact that you just have to memorize the way you're going. Hey, look at that owl. That's pretty cool. That's very cool. Yeah, once you, like, memorize where you're going, it's uh, fairly trivial after that. I say that, you know what I mean. Things still happen, things still go wrong, but that's the common theory. You know. Yeah, I'll grab the fuel. Should be fine. It should be fine. Everybody else is like a few miles behind, at least so far. So we're going to try and use that to our advantage. This boost seems to be fairly safe to get. Kind of difficult to fuck that one up. This boost, uh, yeah, that boost ain't too bad either. Just this one here. This one, you need to be a little bit careful because it will just propel you into everything ahead of you. But, you know, that's Toy Commander for you. That's the jank of it all. Ah, oh, I should have grabbed that boost. Hey, we've almost lapped this guy, so that's generally a good sign. When you're lapping the AI. Okay. I kind of want to grab that boost, but I kind of don't. <laughs> it's kind of double-edged sword syndrome going on. Ooh, oh, up and over the bag. Ah, I missed that one again. Never mind. Ah, we did it. Should have beaten the time as well. Uh, 210. Yeah, all right. We'll take it. It's certain you must be cheating. It's the only plausible reason I can think of. Peggy. Yes, I don't think so, Peggy. Uh, can't remember what his European name was, actually. Maybe I'll look it up for the next video. Little Big Taxi, kind of a pain, that one. Taking over was also a good bit of fun. That's a good mission. Um, what else have we got here? The Heist. Ooh, yeah, these are, from what I can remember at least, these are pretty technical levels. Um, in this area, so I think I'm gonna have a little practice off camera and then uh, come back Because um, that's what I like to do. I don't like to <laughs> go in blind because I'll tell you what sometimes my first attempt on these levels is pretty bloody rough uh, Other times I just like beat it through muscle memory with no issues But there have been a couple that have been a little bit rough that I've forgotten Anyway, I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you very much for watching guys and as always see you next time